The Coupre by Laura. The appearance of a coupre. The coupre is considered to be in the same family as the buffalo. They are categorized by a large body, long horns, a hump back, and a bushy tail at the end. Both horns are the same size, and the cupra has two toes at the center of its hooves. In both males and females, the legs narrow down as they reach the ankle. The bottom half of the legs of the cupra are white. The cupra has a thin muscle layer on the back. It also has hanging loose skin on its neck, and the nose is wide, while the ears are narrow and short. Males are black, and the females are gray, and the young calves are light brown. The male is much larger than the female. Location and habitat. The cupre can be found in the south of Laos, the north and west of Cambodia, the west of Vietnam, and the northeast of Thailand along the border with Cambodia. It did le live in eastern China long ago. It lives in areas of high grassland as it eats grass and leaves. The cupre can travel up to 14 to 15 kilometers per day. Horns and hunting. The horns of adult males are curved and they're turned slightly forward and inward. The horns of a female are typically lyre shaped with upward spirals. Hunting is one of the main reasons why cuprays are being killed. Other reasons include habitat loss and disease killing them. People hunt the cupre for its meat or horns. Its meat tastes very good and its horns are very valuable. Between 1996 and until now, the cupra has been critically endangered. No one has seen it so far. According to research about the cupra, the cupra has always been low in population. It is thought that the cupra are extinct everywhere except for Cambodia, and it is estimated that there are less than 150 left. We can spread awareness by telling each other and getting people to know about the Coupre, as a lot of people don't even know what it is. We can help support the organizations by viewing their website and liking their pages to let them know that people care about keeping the Coupre safe. The organizations can help educate the people that are killing them and telling them what they are doing.